Hello everyone, it's been a while since I've been um, on this channel because I went on a little vacation thing and I went to Washington State. Um, I didn't fly there alone, but I flew back alone and I was really, really scared and it was a disaster. And I'll tell you about it. I flew there alone, it was fun, um, I had a lot of boba, there were a lot of boba places there. There, uh, I went to the Space Needle, that was really cool. I went to the aquarium and I got a seal plushie and I brought him to the Space Needle and I got hot chocolate at the Space Needle and I went to a botanical garden and I did a lot of stuff. Probably like, oh my gosh, I thought you were a shut-in. How did you do all that stuff? Well, I was kind of, well first of all, I was kind of forced to do all that stuff, but also I need to get out of my comfort zone because now I'm an adult. I'm an adult. I can legally buy a gun, and I can legally join the army, <laughs> so it was rainy and cold, and I didn't like that, but besides that, it was pretty fun, and I did like all the stores, and I liked the food. It was a pretty cool experience, and it was cool because I've never been anywhere with a different time zone, and it was really, really, um, it was like an adventure. It was really cool. Um, it was scary, though, because I felt like I was on my own, and <laughs> yeah, it was okay, like the way there kind of, I was kind of okay. And then I was getting more and more worried for having to leave because I had to fly alone. Um, and I got there and I had to get through security. Once I was through security, I was fighting back tears. I was literally fighting back tears. And I was trying so hard. I was sweating so hard. <laughs> I hate it so much because I, I have really bad anxiety. I get really anxious and, and sweaty. Um, <laughs> and I would get shaky. And I'm like, I'm like shaking right Security was really scary because they're really like aggressive and it was my first time um, And you know, they're like, how old are you? And you're, I'm like 18 and they're like, okay, you're an illegal adult I can be mean to you. And I'm like, okay <laughs> So I go through security. I take off my shoes. You have to take off your shoes You have to take off your hoodie because I, I was wearing a hoodie So I had to take off my hoodie I had to take my iPad out of my bag and put it on the thing and I had to take my phone and everything and it was so stressful and scary but I did it and I got through it and I was like oh my gosh I can't believe I just did that so then I got past that and I had to get to my gate that is where things start getting sticky and scary I don't know why I said sticky that's like gross I feel like my throat is really dry I want to like open this it's a ramen ramune ramen ramen I can't pronounce anything and it's really bad because like if you're trying to learn languages you should be able to pronounce stuff, but I cannot do that, and I have no upper body strength. That is also why carrying those suitcases that I had was really, really hard for me, because I have no upper body strength. It was literally like a workout for me. It was so, so terrible. It was so awful. I, like, my whole body was in pain, and I can't open it. Oh, I just opened it. I just opened it. I can't believe I did that. I usually have to use like a counter or something. I'm doing a lot. Um, cheers to being an adult. Anyways, <laughs> so I was going to my gate and um, I was trying to go down the escalators, but they were really, really tall and I'm, <laughs> I'm really scared of heights. Um, so I start freaking out because I can't get my things down and now there's other people that are going, so I let them go in front of me. And this, per this guy, he's like, do you need help? And I'm like, I'm already starting to tear up. My face is getting red. I'm like, no. And then and then I start, like, I go to the side because I don't want to be in anyone's way. And I'm, like, tearing up and my whole face is red and I'm about to freak out. And then this, this lovely, lovely woman, this lovely lady, she comes up to me and she's like, are you okay? Do you need help? And I'm like, it's, it's okay. And she's like, no, it's okay. I can help you. Do you want me to, like, show you how to take your stuff down the escalator because you know i'm not used to that it's my first time it was my first time flying so i was like uh yes please i was like thank you thank you so much she's like yeah and she talked to me she was like us girls have to stick together and don't make yourself feel small you know you deserve to be here you have a ticket just like everyone else um and i believe in you i believe you can do it i told her that it was my first time flying and all that and she was super, super sweet. She was super nice. Um, she helped me go to my gate, which was, um, I had to take a shuttle to my gate, so I did not know how to do that either, and I was panicking. So once we got down the escalators, she was like, do you know how to take the train? Do you know how to take, like, the shuttle or whatever? And I was like, um, 
I think so. I don't know. And <laughs> she helped me with that as well. So I'm very, very, very grateful for her because I would not have survived to that airport without her. Um, so yeah, strangers can be very, very nice. Um, sometimes don't talk to strangers, but sometimes strangers can be really helpful. And she basically like helped walk me to my gate. Um, and I saw her like depart for her flight and she said, have a nice flight. And I was like, you too. And thank you so much. Oh my God, you saved my life. Um, and I'm so glad I get to go home now. I was so scared. Um, so thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. And then also on the bus going to the airport, I met this very, very nice, nice young man, <laughs> man, I'm sorry, nice young man named Sean. Um, and he was talking, he was talking to us about, uh, his favorite cartoons. He really liked Family Guy. He liked South Park, kind of, but his favorite was Futurama and, uh, I think King of the Hill, or no, American Dad. American Dad. Uh, it was really cool. And he was talking to us about the theme songs and the logos and stuff on the bus right there. And he was around my age. He was like 18, 19. Um, and he was like, yeah, I was really nervous, like, the first time I was flying, too. Um, I don't, I forgot he said, but, you know, he said that he believed in me, and I see, I see a scary bug. I killed it. Okay, anyways, back to my story. So, yeah, she helped me all the way to my gate, and then we went off on our separate ways. I waited, like, two hours for the plane to come, because I got there so freaking early, um, because I was going alone, so I wanted to make sure that I didn't miss my flight or anything. That would be awful. And then finally, it's my turn to board. I was one of the last. To and it was so hard to bring my luggage, but it was okay. And one of the, like, flight attendants, she helped me lift it up. Um, and this other guy, it was like three of us lifting it up, but I'm glad someone helped me because there was no way I was getting that thing up there. Um, and then I got to my seat. I got a window seat and I was so lucky. Um, because I could have got like any random seat, but I got a window seat. Um, and it was actually the same row as my birthday and that's really good luck apparently. So I sat next to this really nice couple. Um, they seemed like a husband and wife, um, What else? What else? So I was waiting to get my little food thing that I ordered. I ordered a little cheese platter because I knew I was going to be hungry. It was a five hour flight. Um, that was really yummy. It was really yummy. They also gave me pretzels and a little Biscoff cookie thing, but I didn't eat it until I got home. But I ate the cheese platter on the plane. Don't worry. Um, I would not say that. That's insane. Um, I watched the Powerpuff Girls. I downloaded some episodes so I could watch it on the plane. Um, and it was really, really nice, and I ended up falling asleep because my phone was low-key dying, and I was like, I don't want it to be dead when I get to the airport, because I have no idea what I'm doing, so <laughs> I ended up, um, falling asleep, and I kept waking up and falling asleep, but, you know, the plane was very, very smooth, it was very smooth, there was, like, no turbulence, the, the liftoff, whatever, the takeoff was very, very smooth, the landing was very, very smooth, and I was very thankful, and I was very happy, and I felt very safe in that plane. So whoever was the pilot that day, thank you for not killing me. So once I landed, I got off the plane, and I was on my way home. And I was like, wow, that was really, really freaking scary. And I almost had a panic attack, and I almost got lost. But thanks to that one lady, I was saved, and I was able to make it home. And I'm so happy that I'm home again, and I miss my room so much, and I was getting really, really anxious um, the last few days, especially about flying home alone and about, like, just everything, like, traveling is really, really a lot for me. It's really scary because I have anxiety and I usually prefer to stay in my room, in my house, inside. Um, but I think it was a really good learning opportunity for me, especially since I'm an adult now and I need to know how to do some things by myself. I'm going to show you some of the stuff I got while I was in, uh, Washington. Um... I did not get this bag when I was in Washington. I actually got it for my birthday. It's from Minnesota. Uh, Chikawa. We love Chikawa. Um, I went to Daiso. Daiso? I don't know. Daiso? I don't know how to say it because we don't have it here. But I got... Um, oh my gosh. I put this thing in there because I got this... Um, my mellow bottle cap thing for like water bottles and stuff. It's really, really, really cute. It's like... It looks like this, and it's one of those, like, little spout things that you can open, and then you can drink 
your water out of and it's really really cute and i think it'll help me drink more water because i don't drink enough water and i don't i don't think anyone drinks enough water um i got this cute little planner from daiso i got this cute journal and i love it because it's this little whale shark not a whale but a whale shark i can't pronounce shit um i got a little pencil case that's also the little kitties I'm not a big, 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 big